Hey guys, it's Brie. Welcome to my channel. I'm sorry about my voice. I have been sick for the past week. I have an awful cold, but this video is going to be testing out a bunch of new products that I have recently bought. Not a bunch. So this is a five first impressions. These are five products I've never used before. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to see what I think about these five products, just keep watching. Okay guys, so I really do not feel good today, like at all. I have had this cold since last week. So I've had it for a week and I sound like crap. I feel decent today, but I've felt like crap all week. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so annoying and frustrating. And I hate my voice when I'm sick, it's so annoying. Luckily, I had enough videos pre-filmed last week so that I didn't really miss any. I'm just very lightly filling my brows in. I go kind of light today. But I wanted to get on here. I bought some new stuff last week or two weeks. I guess it was like two weekends ago. And I haven't even played with any of it yet because I was wanting to do it on camera. But then basically when we got back in town, I just felt like crap as you can tell from my voice. <laughs> but even if I'm sick, the show must go on. I think I'm actually gonna split this into two different videos because I do have a new foundation to test out and I'm really excited about it. So I think I'm gonna give that its own separate video because I love doing foundation ones. So I just used my ABH pomade and now I'm using the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's like hard to breathe and it's hard to talk and my throat is so sore. It's very annoying. Okay, so I got the LA Girl Pro Conceal. I had this. I think mine's really old though and I have not used it in forever. So I thought that I would give this a try again. So I bought the... What shade is this? Porcelain. So I'm going to go in and put this on my eyes. I don't really like that applicator. It's not my favorite. So if I seem like very blah in this video, I'm sorry. I'm really trying. I'm going to set my eyes with just a little bit of translucent powder. So the one thing I picked up that I'm so excited about, this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I've been eyeballing this since it launched. And I don't ever see that many people using it. And I don't know why, because I've heard nothing but good things about it. Looks beautiful. I'm really excited to use this though. Yeah, I don't, have you guys seen people using this a lot? Cause I haven't. So I'm gonna start out with, okay, that's pretty powdery. Weekender, I'm gonna lay that down. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy since I do not feel good, but I do wanna test it out. I really like the shades in this palette too, it's fun. I feel like if I talk too much, my voice is gonna go away and I don't want that to happen. It's a really nice transition shade. You can barely see it on camera, but it's perfect for me. I'm gonna pick up this Morphe M573 and I'm gonna go into Riff is a deeper brown. I'm just gonna put that right in the crease. I think this is my first Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. I don't think I have any others. I never got the Naked palettes or anything like that. So I don't really have anything to compare this to. They're blending out really nicely. They have good pigmentation. Yeah, they're blending really pretty. Taking a Morphe M433. I'm trying to think where I want to go with this. I think I'm going to take Baja, which is like very burnt orange. It's very pretty. I'm going to put that on the outer corner and into the crease.
taking that first brush, I'm just gonna blend that out. I blend it out nicely, but it looks a little patchy once I went in there to blend it out. Not like very patchy, but the intensity of the color went away. I think I'm gonna take Stranded just on my finger and I pack that all over the inner part of the lid. That's pretty. Taking that brush, I'm just kind of blending over those edges. Taking a little bit of breakaway, putting that under the brow. It's a very toned down look for me. And take a little more riff and deepen that crease a little bit. I'm gonna pick up Stranded and spray that with a setting spray. See if we can get it a little more intense. I just popped on lashes really quick and I'm gonna go do my foundation and I will be right back. Okay guys, so I just popped on that foundation so now I'm just going to use that same LA Girl Pro Concealer again. It looks like I got too light of a shade in the foundation. Oh my gosh, I sound so crappy, I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't even tell you the last time I used this concealer. But I don't remember it not working, but then I don't remember it like looking good. I just haven't used it in a really long time. So I'm just gonna blend that out with a sponge. Cause I'm sick, my under eyes are so, they just look horrible. It's blending out easily. It doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't really look great as of right now. Also didn't cover up the circles under my eyes very well. I don't know if I need more, but I can still very much see the darkness under my eyes. I'm just gonna add a little more of that. You still feel like you can really see them. Maybe it's just lighter coverage than I'm used to. I look like a zombie. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with my I just dumped it in the cap but this is the NYC smooth skin loose face powder I used to love this and I have not used it in a really long time so I'm just dipping my sponge into that and applying the powder I used to bake all the time with this powder I thought it was so good I still think it's a really good one is NYC even still around I look so ghostly. Foundation was a little too light for me. I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of that powder on my Morphe E41 and just set the rest of my face. I'm trying so hard today. I just do not feel good. So I think that eyeshadow looks beautiful. I think it blended out really nicely. The concealer I am not sold on. Maybe if I use it when I'm not a walking zombie, maybe I'll like it. I'm just going to contour and bronze really quick. Just using my normal stuff for that, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I just contoured and bronzed really quickly. The next first impressions that I'm trying out, this is the LA Girl Just Blushing. They had a buy one get one half off or buy one get one free at Ulta with the LA Girl stuff, so... This is the shade Just Natural. It is so pretty. It's just so light and toned down and I feel like it's just gonna look really pretty. I've heard, I've heard good things about these blushes too. I'm a little heavy on this side, but that is pretty. It's very, it's just very toned down. And it's not super pink or super red. I like that color a lot. I'm just going to hop into this e.l.f. highlighter quad. These two shades, the pinky and the pearly one. These are pretty dusty. 
really pretty though. They're not too intense or too in your face. You can make them more blinding though. If you go in with a cream first and then set this, very pretty. Okay, jumping back to the eyes quickly. Taking my Morphe E18, I'm gonna pick up Riff, which is that color I used in the crease. And just smoke that out. Have you guys gotten sick? I swear the weather just turned cold and I instantly get sick every time. It's so annoying. The weather changes too quickly and my immune system like shuts down. It's so ridiculous. Plus ever since Broad started school, now it's like everything he brings home. And I used to never get sick. Okay, I'm gonna take Baja, which is that orange shade. And I'm going to keep that right next to the waterline. I'm not going all the way to the inner corner with that color. I really like that color though, that Baja, that is gorgeous. I'm going to pick up Breakaway on this little Morphe M213 and just pack that on the inner corner. I'm dragging that down on the lower lash line a little bit to really open up my eyes. That color is pretty too. And a little bit more on the brow. Ugh, I hate my sick voice. <clears throat> I feel like it's getting worse because I'm talking. Really easy. I was kind of put black but now I kind of feel like I want to do a lighter on the waterline. Hold on. Okay, so I just grabbed my Essence Extreme Lasting Eye Pencil in Silky Nude. This is my favorite, favorite eye pencil for the waterline. I do want to try those new LA Girl, they're like lip liners, but I've seen people using them on their waterlines for like bright colors, and I really want to get those. I'm like so excited about it, I need to go. Let me know if you guys have tried those, because I really want to try them. I look so pale. I feel like I should have loaded on the bronzer a little bit more. I think I'm gonna add more bronzer. I'm just using the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. Add a little bit more color. I'm gonna pop on some mascara on the lower lashes. This is the Wander Beauty Unleashed Mascara. I got this in my BoxyCharm a while ago. And I think I like it. Most of the time, mascara doesn't make a difference on me. I'll use pretty much anything as long as it doesn't flake all over my face. Okay, for lips, I have... I'm just going to go in with my usual Lorac Highly Pigmented Lipstick in Minimalist. And then I got a new... This is the Makeup Revolution... I think it's just a topper. doesn't... Lip topper. This is what it looks like. It's so pretty. And I have been getting a little more into gloss instead of matte which normally does not happen. I'm usually a matte lip girl all the way. That's my favorite lipstick. It is the best. Okay. I love the packaging of this because it's, I don't know, it's just so cute. That's pretty much why I bought it. And I was just looking for stuff to test out. I feel like I use the same kind of stuff all the time. Oh. That is so pretty. Look how juicy my lips look. Wow, that is so pretty. It feels really light. It doesn't feel sticky at all. Oh, I love that it's not sticky. Thank you. It is very pretty. I really like that. Okay, and the last first impressions, which I'm so excited to try this. I've heard nothing but good things about this, and I had to like dig for it because I couldn't find it at Ulta. But I'm so excited. This is the Morphe Prep and Set Continuous Setting Mist. It doesn't say Prep and Set. Okay. Well, I'm going to try this. I'm excited. Ooh. Okay, I loved the spray on that. It dried down really fast. I don't feel like it did anything crazy. I'm gonna try it again. 
Yeah, it dries down really fast. Micro Fine Mist sets liquid or powder makeup with radiant finish. Radiant? I'm excited to see how it helps my makeup throughout the day. I'm excited that I grabbed this. I have. I've heard so many good things about this, so I'm really excited. I really loved the sprayer on that, even for that. I feel like it'd be very refreshing throughout the day if you needed a little touch up. My shirt is dirty. Where did that come from? I have a two year old, that's probably what it's from. Anyways, okay guys, so this is what the finished product looks like. I am super excited to keep playing with this palette. Let me know if you guys want to see this in a future 10 looks using one palette series. I would love to highlight this palette. I think it's pretty, it has enough neutrals and enough fun colors that I think I could come up with some pretty cool looks. I really love this blush. I think it is so pretty. It's so toned down. It looks very natural. I really like that. The Makeup Revolution Lip Topper is gorgeous. I can't believe how juicy my lips look. It's insane. This combo, this with the lipstick, is beautiful. I like that. And the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, I really like it so far. We'll see how it helps my makeup throughout the day, but so far I really like it. Oh, and the LA Girl Pro Concealer, I'm on the fence about it. I don't think it covered my dark circles. It blended out fine. Maybe it would be a good one for the rest of my face, but my under eyes, I think, need a little more help. Okay, guys, so those were all my first impressions. I'm sorry about my voice. Hopefully you stuck around. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I post three videos every week. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in my next video. Getting over him. I got no rules, I count him.